Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So this video is a bit different. I know my channel is about beauty, fashion and lifestyle and part of my lifestyle is crafting. Now and again I absolutely love crafting. It's very relaxing and just great for your soul. I really wanted to try this trend where people make over old vases, pots and make them to look like old age stone and there are different techniques that you can use use different mediums so i tried in three different ways and i made over three vessels so this was my first project i've already shown you this in one of my vlogs uh, this was just an empty prosecco bottle and i loved it then I got this glass vase. It was just a simple glass vase and I've used a bit different colors on this one and did it um, and used different method for it. And then I got this jug. That was glass jug as well. I used a bit different medium to cover it with and that's what I got. I absolutely love them. I enjoyed myself so much. This is probably the easiest DIY. You don't need to have any skills. You can't mess it up. You can't mess it up. It's just so easy. If you don't like it, you can repaint it. So it's really easy. So let me show you now how I did it. So for the first project, I used this quick drying ready mixed filler. I think in the US you call it spackle or something compound, I'm not sure. I took my empty Prosecco bottle, which was embossed with like hearts. So I wanted to cover all that and I started to spread this filler all down the bottle. I used my gloves but I think you can do it with your bare hands. It's water, water soluble so you can wash your hands uh, but there was another reason why I used the gloves. So as you can see I'm just covering it going from top to bottom. It was quite easy, it was quite stretchy so I didn't have too much problem with it. Then I started patting that filler with gloves and that gave me sort of peaks so it was getting more and more textured which I really really liked. So then I left it to dry for a few hours and then I, or maybe overnight, I can't remember. Then I came back to it and used some of my acrylic paints. As you can see, I have them in like natural colors, browns, taupes, chocolates, and white to mix it with. I mixed a bit of um, black with white to give myself sort of gray, gray color. Uh, you can mix mix them to whatever color you like. And then I pushed a bit of that taupe color as well. So just let your imagination run with it, whatever color you prefer, cooler or, or warmer. I wanted this to be a bit cooler, a bit more taupey, so that's why I mix. I took then damp paper towel, dipped it in that paint and started sort of stippling it on, on this bottle. And I would stipple and wipe. It really doesn't matter. Just do what you want to do. Honestly, that way each pro project is quite unique. Then I tried this sponge. It's like a painting sponge and I dipped it in water. That sort of made the paint pulling a bit and I was getting a bit more diluted coverage. I don't think I liked it so much. I probably covered it later uh, with white again. And then you see I'm mixing into this a bit darker brown and again I'm going to stipple that color in. Just use different colors in different places and as thick as you like. If you add more water, you will get more coverage, almost like a color wash instead of 
like a dotted look if you know what I mean so I, would, I was just trying to this was my first project this was the first time I tried it so here you see I felt that there is maybe too dark so I've added just a bit of white so if you don't like the color you can just cover it with white again and start all over just keep stippling all these colors as much as you like you can't make a mistake and this was my finished project I absolutely loved it I was so happy with myself and couldn't wait to do more and here it is on my side table with a stick that I found while walking with my dog and I love love this look so for the next project I use this glass vase and I sprayed it with a white matte spray paint first just because in this project I was trying to use just paint so I thought if I spray it first I will have to use less paint later. Pray. I think I maybe did even two layers. I wasn't too careful. You have to be careful if that's the look you're going for and not to get drips. You shouldn't go too close. I got a couple of drips but I didn't care because I still was going to give it some texture and paint over it. But you could just spray it and have it like that but then you have to be a bit more careful. So when this was dry, I tried different method. I tried mixing my acrylic paint, in this case it's white, with baking soda. I've seen people doing that and the baking soda makes the paint a bit thicker and gives you a bit more, more texture. So I mixed really well this baking soda, well I wouldn't say I mix it that well, um, it had some gritty bits in it but that just added to the texture. So it's up to you how thick you want this paint to be, the thicker obviously the more texture you will get and then I started painting this vase. As you can see um, I should have started painting the bottom first because now I'm turning this vase around and where I've already painted it the paints come off so I lifted the vase up <laughs> and started painting it from the bottom first then I started to paint it in a horizontal direction because I wanted the texture to look almost like lines not that it did matter afterwards but I just wanted it to look a bit different to the first bottle that I did. And then again I started patting it with my brush, a bit like what I did with the gloves with the first project and as you can see that is giving me more texture as well. Really enjoyed this process and this is how it looks. So again I left it to dry and then I thought I will use chalk paint. Chalk paint is very thick so I was wondering did I even need to use the paint with baking soda because I think I could achieve the same effect with chalk paint. So I'm just trying this. I've covered it with chalk paint again and then I would add a bit more chalk paint in other places patted and that gave me very similar texture to the paint with baking soda. So I don't know, maybe I didn't even need to do the baking soda, just using chalk paint would be okay. I also started to sort of drag this paint so you can see these lines that added different type of texture. Honestly, just do whatever you want because there is, I think, not right or wrong with these projects. See, when I'm patting this paint thicker, I'm getting the same texture that I was getting with the baking soda. Again, after I've patted it on, then I dragged it a bit. I was just enjoying myself so much, I could have probably stopped there, but it was too much fun to stop.
and that's what it looked like after I finished really like that texture it's not as rough as the first one it's a bit more subtle and then I started doing the same thing mixing paints this one I wanted to be a bit warmer color so I mix the browns with white I had the I think it was chocolate this one is taupe and this is chocolate brown so that chocolate brown added a bit more warmth to my project and I started this time painting it with a brush as you can see it's it's almost like a dry brushing so I would load the brush with the paint tap off the excess paint and just brush it on very gently in different directions then I added a bit more of that brown to give it a bit warmer look then I took the wet paper towel and I think I started smudging it a bit oh yes I dipped it in that paint tapped it off and stippled it on on that vase I was just making it up as I went along I did a bit thicker layer at the bottom so you know when your pot is a bit aged I suppose it looks a bit dirtier, uh, more aged at the bottom. And then I just went for it. A bit of white, a bit of brown. Then I wet the brush. So the first brushing was done with dry brush, the dry brushing. This time I wet the brush and went over that paint. So again, that would sort of dissolve the paint and it was like a color wash. So as you can see, I'm getting more and more of that brown now. And you know, you could have left it there. But of course, like I said, I was having too much fun. So I kept going on and on and on. Then I left it to dry and used some old ground coffee to rub in it. I would say that pot was probably 99.9% .9 dry. I didn't leave it overnight, I don't think. I probably left it to dry all day and then in the evening came back and started really, really rubbing the ground coffee. And this was fun as well. It smelled absolutely divine and also really exfoliated my hands. <laughs> so that was an added bonus. And I really like this effect. It almost looked like dirt. So this is what it looks like after I finished. I was very happy with it. Now, you probably need to spray it with some sort of acrylic top coat. I did spray it a bit with a matte top coat. Remember, those vases are not waterproof because obviously all the compounds and paints are water soluble. So this was my third project. For this project, I thought I'd try this wall tile adhesive and grout. Well, I wish I never tried this one. This one was much, maybe not thicker, but it had, I don't know, it behaved almost like a chewing gum. It was very stretchy and gooey. I think this would work on a straight vase without any crooks and crannies without those handles but this took me ages i think maybe i should have applied thinner coat first even if it didn't cover it all let it dry and then apply second one um you see on the straight bits it applied really well but when you had to get into the lip of that vase and the handles it was 
a bit of a nightmare and also maybe it would be better if I did it with bare hands because then he started sticking to my gloves and it obviously has some adhesive in it as well so my gloves were sticking together I didn't enjoy this bit at all but I started so I finished you can see here I'm trying to apply it to those handles that's when my gloves started sticking it was just a mess I might try this adhesive and grout maybe on a straight vase and maybe with my bare hands I don't know um, but I was worried about with this having adhesive in it as well I was worried to use it with my bare hands so maybe I wouldn't but it has taken me ages to cover this vase okay left it to dry and as you can see with this the texture was a bit rougher it cracked in bits as you can see but that was fine because I was going to paint it anyway because it was so rough slightly sanded off rough bits because it did have quite rough and sharp areas on it so instead of using sanding paper I used nail file quite coarse nail file I think it was 150 grit and I used very similar color in this one that I used on the bottle I wanted another um, taupey more taupey looking vase so the colors and I think the method was very similar I used again this top color with white and I think black with white so I had sort of grayish taupey look I also squeezed in all the other darker browns just in case I wanted to add some but like I said if you don't like what you've done even if you finish this project you can always change it this was quite fun to paint because of the texture you can see I'm just straight on painting this pot but the white will be peeking through because it's so textured you can't cover the whole area so that was fun then I mixed it with the other color Again, I'm using different techniques, rubbing, stamping with dry paper, with damp paper, just to see what effect I would get. And like I said, if I didn't like it, like here, I'm covering it a bit more with white again, you cannot go wrong. So I would say I used like everything that I had on this project brushes bigger brushes smaller brushes wet dry and that's what he looked like love this one too so these were my three projects I absolutely love them I would say this one was the easiest because I didn't use any filler any grout it was just straight painting and adding texture with paint tapping the brush, adding thicker uh, paint. I would say chalk paint is probably the best for this. I did spray this with a matte top coat, which stinks, do it outside. Because I am planning on, I could have real flowers in here, it's a proper glass, um, glass but you still have to be very careful. This, this project shouldn't be handled too much unless you put a coat on it like I wouldn't put this in water because obviously all these things are water soluble you will come off so this will be for twigs dry flowers and it's not going to be handled a lot the same with the bottle so I would urge all of you to try it because honestly you don't need any skills whatever you do you will look good I promise you so have a go at it I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye